Well, it has been a mystery hanging over Delaware County for years now, but today investigators announced a huge break in the case of a woman found dead years ago. Her body was found in Ridley Creek State Park. Her identity, a mystery until now, as we've been saying, as CBS News Philadelphia reporter Madeline Wright shows us, there's still more work to be done. It was New Year's Day in 2016 when a hiker at Ridley Creek State Park discovered a woman's skeletal remains in a heavily wooded area off a trail. Investigators spent years trying to identify her. They reviewed countless missing person reports, followed up on tips. But none of the leads panned out. Last year, two investigators got certified in forensic genealogy, making Pennsylvania State Police the first known law enforcement agency in the Northeast to have this in-house capability. This allows us to eliminate the unpredictable and rising cost of third-party genealogical, genealogical research, which is based on the amount of time committed to an investigation. Investigators extracted DNA from the woman's bones and entered it into a national database. And after all this time, they finally learned the woman's name, though they're not releasing it because the family requested privacy. Identifying this female would not have been possible without the use of forensic genealogy. Just last month, they tracked down the woman's sister. Surprised that the state police are still working it, elated, um, thankful, um, appreciative. Troopers say the woman's family had lost track of her, but never reported her missing. If they had, investigators say they likely would have been able to identify her in 2016. Report your loved ones missing, that's important. Um, provide us, the police, a DNA sample. This Jane Doe becomes the first case troopers have solved with their new in-house unit. While investigators have the woman's name, they still don't know her cause of death. They're asking anyone with information on what happened to her to come forward. At Ridley Creek State Park, Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia.